Hey y'all, it's your girl Millie Chan. And Katie Ross is making a plea to be back on the Real Housewives of Potomac. And after this post, she should be. Child, Katie woke up this morning and chose, I'm gonna do whatever I want to do. Maybe next season on the Real Housewives of Potomac, they will ask Sharice Jordan about the night we had Bang Bang and I lied for her so she could get her settlement. What? Then she goes, maybe. I'm not bitter, just saying. And then she's talking about Sharice, or maybe she is so entertaining, we will all be amazed as never. Absolutely not. Never be amazed. But let me say this, Real Housewives of Potomac, if you're going to bring Sharice back, you better bring Katie with her. Because now, Sharice got a story. How does Katie and Sharice's past cross? Like, how does that happen? And Katie went on to say that she's not a liar. She said she told Karen. She told people at Bravo. She told her mom. <sighs> Andy Cohen, bring Katie back. Hey, bring back. girl Millie Chun. Let's get into Love and Marriage DC. Now, I do understand that you can't win them all, right? Last night was one of those, this is just good TV to watch. For me. I'm glad the ladies have come to um, a situation where they can be civil, they can speak, and there's no cattiness and no bitterness. And they can just exist in each other's presence that's that's good it's amazing to me when women are able to do things that i don't feel like i would have the strength to do enjoy having a relationship with carmen i think that's great but i also saw this this is joy and clifton and carmen is on a trip with joy and clifton okay but i do like the fact that joy has a friend on the show also other than Irena because Irena has other friends that Joy really doesn't get along with and one thing about Joy and I'll say this again she could take it or leave it because what she not gonna do is be somewhere she don't want to be <laughs> and I love that about her let's keep going I was glad that Shirella came to the wig event because maybe now Shirella can be a model for Irena because Shirella, although you are beautiful, do not ever wear that piece again. And that's all I'm going to say about that. P.S. I could listen to Shirella, um, Ashley, and Irena talk all day. The dialect, I love it. Let's keep going. Now I understand why Ashley has to get the baby up for school. He don't go to bed till 11.30. Like the child's body should at least be at rest by 9.30, 10 o'clock. If I had gone in the room and saw Lillian preparing for bed at 11.30, there would be some things tomorrow that she would not be afforded. I would be devastated. I love when the men talk with their sons, right? And I'm very proud of Jamie Ford, right? Because he's found a job. He's found, like, a reason. You know what I'm saying? He started a coat drive. And he was smiling. And he had pep. And, and I'm glad that Big Jamie was there as a reference for quick, not so much a voice. Shirella and Black did a good thing getting Winter and her dude together. I've never seen Winter smile so hard. Like she said, we got something here. Let's keep going. So now we get to the wig event, right? Irena had a great event. It was beautiful. And congratulations, Irena. Your units are beautiful. I just didn't like the ending of the show. I didn't like how Jamie... I didn't like that. Irena has done such a good thing. It seems like she's trying to find her voice. It seems like she's finding her voice, right? And for you to walk up on her and talk about TikToks, we can talk about TikToks when we go home in the basement where we make the TikToks. Now that Dr. Cunningham has Jamie and Jamie number four on track, now it's time for Irena to get in there because this right here needs to be worked out. I hey, y'all, it's your girl Millie Chine. Here's a minute with Millie Chine. Let's go. Carlos had a conversation with Monique and Derek yesterday on his YouTube page. I haven't finished listening to it, but when I finish, I'm going to break it down for y'all. It was enlightening. And it was cringy, too, but I enjoyed it, the, what I heard. It was good. Let's keep going. Chris Rock's Live came on last night live on Netflix. I've not heard really good reviews about it, but I haven't watched it either. And I am a Chris Rock fan, so I'm going to look at that, and then I'll be back with it. I'll be back. This is not really news, but when I saw this meme, me realizing I could have just ignored his DM, other than her four beautiful children, I know she thinks like this every day. <laughs> so Megan Thee Stallion and Cardi B have inquired about remaking Babs. I'm not against that. So with Megan and Cardi inquired about the movie, and Robert Townsend is the director, right? He was like, people love it, love it, and people who didn't love it, you know, didn't understand it, right? But... 
even with all the excitement, he is not about it. He said that it's like, I don't know, so thank you for asking. What do you mean you don't know? It's Cardi and Megan. Who is not going to see that? And people who used to watch BAPS would love the remake. And I'm not even a remake person, but I would definitely go see this. Y'all, Diddy is out here tricking, making dreams come true. This girl said, these bills, what do I have to do to be one of your ladies? He said, what? <laughs> what is up? Talk to me. That's all you got to do, Puff. Y'all, I, 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 ain't no way. Mm -mm. Here's a little bit of what Carlos talked to Monique and Derek about. Hold on. Where do you get your money from, Derek? I saved it. Did you watch the episode? When I came home with some money that I went to the bank with. And then I had, I had some investment I had before I got locked up. So I had some support. I had my family who support me. Not my sisters, you know. I had some grandparents, things like that, that helped me invest my money. And some lawyers, too. Monique, where did you get your money from? I work. I saved. <laughs> According to the show, it says you are a receptionist at an animal hospital. Is that still the case? Mm-hmm. You can't believe nothing that they said. When he asked Derek, it was the pause for me. And when he asked her if she's still working at the animal clinic, the fact that she said, mm-hmm, I was done with it. But y'all, it's your girl, Millie Chan. I'm going to leave y'all with this. Y'all have a good day. I'll be back with something. Bye, y'all. Annie, what are you? I fit. Oh yeah? Oh, are you a are you a wicked witch? Huh? Good witch or wicked? Are you a good witch or a bad witch? I'm bad bitch. Bad bitch. <laughs>